Hey church family, I wanted to take this opportunity to present you with another word of encouragement as we continue to pray for the recovery of our country. Now, over the last three days, more than 2,000 Christians gathered together at the Fort Worth Convention Center for the annual Southwest Believers Convention, which is hosted by televangelist Kenneth Copeland. And once again, those who are on the far left of the, uh, of the political aisle, they've demonstrated their double standards by accusing the believers in attendance of spreading the coronavirus. Now, don't get me wrong, because I totally believe that's possible for uh, infected people to spread the coronavirus at a convention just like this one. And yet at the same time, I also believe that the coronavirus, well, it can also be spread at funeral services like the one held for John Lewis, as well as protests, which we've seen uh, in the streets uh, all over America, you know, where people are marching shoulder to shoulder in mass, many without masks on. And, and, and you better believe that the coronavirus can be spread at these sorts of events. Listen, being that the coronavirus can be easily spread in all of these settings, I can't help but to wonder why those on the far left, they applaud the people who gather in mass for their events, while simultaneously condemning the Christians who gather together at similar settings. You know, the, the coronavirus doesn't magically activate according to the conservativeness of the crowd. You know, the, the COVID-19, it doesn't become more infectious when the name of Jesus is proclaimed. Of course, that's ridiculous. And yet, that's how many on the left treat it. Listen, it if we support the gatherings that are in line with our own political point of view, then we ought to be consistent by supporting the gatherings uh, of those that are on the other side of the political aisle. If you're supportive of one kind of gathering, then you should be supportive of all gatherings. This is why I applaud those who attend the funeral of John Lewis, and at the same time, I applaud the Christians who gather together for uh, the, 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 the corporate worship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, with all that being said, I am concerned about the people who attended the Southwest Believers Convention there in Fort Worth. Uh, and the reason why is because this was hosted again by Kenneth Copeland. Have these people already forgotten that Kenneth Copeland proclaimed the end of COVID-19 back in March? It was actually March the 29th when Kenneth Copeland declared, It is finished, it is over, and the United States of America is healed and well again. Not only that, but Copeland went on to inform his followers that the spirit of life of COVID-19 is dead. And then he lifted up his arm and, and, and he looked at his watch and, and announced the end of the pandemic at exactly 12 noon. He timestamped it, 12 noon on, on the 29th day of March. And then he said, thank you, Jesus. It's over. Wow. He timestamped the end of COVID-19. Without debate, this man is a false person prophet who is leading people astray. And I can't help but to remember the warning that the Apostle Peter presented in 2 Peter chapter 2, where he declares, there will be false teachers among you who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them and bring on themselves swift destruction. The Apostle John also encouraged the church to test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Christian, listen, Kenneth Copeland has proven himself to be a false prophet. Therefore, we would do well to warn the world about the so-called Southwest Believers Convention because it's being led by a false teacher. We, we should warn people about the Southwest Believers Convention and Kenneth Copeland, not because of the coronavirus, but because of the Copeland virus that results in mass deception. Knowing that the world is filled with false teachers, uh, I encourage every Christian, let's continue fighting the good fight of faith, all for the glory of God.